Hi friends, welcome back to the Guitar Spa where we bring you all the beautiful guitars reviewed just for you and right now I have a special guitar that just came in and this is none other than a Collins but this is a special Collins with a custom feature and this one has a, uh, a OM2HE H stands for herringbone and E stands for Angerman and this one has the special uh, requested inlay that is on the headstock Especially, let's dive and let's get started on this uh, review. This one spots an Engelman top, and uh, Collins uses uh, Master Grade Engelman tops on their guitar. And um, you have the herringbone round here, a beautiful uh, tortoise uh, kind of uh, pick guard, uh, ebony bridge, ebony fretboard. The fretboard has the uh, diamond uh, cut markers inlaid on this guitar. You have the uh, back and sides are good old Indian rosewood. This one has a tight green but uh, a brown coloration with the red and the purplish hue that's on this guitar. They use Master Grade. The whole body is bound um, uh, with ivory. Ivory is just a uh, plastic but uh, made to resemble ivory. So you get the ivory kind of color that is on this guitar. And the uh, neck it's uh, it's a, a one piece neck with a volute that is on this guitar and it's a two a bolt on system and something to note about uh, Collins is they with the trans rod fitted they fit another two more steel rods that are on this uh, rectangular steel bars that are on this guitar to stiffen the neck what's the philosophy of that once the neck is stiffened you wouldn't get bum or, or, or wolf notes on some of the, the, the what you call it, entry level guitars that you hear where the, the single note that you, that you play boom just sustain very short fast fast delay boom boom it doesn't delay or lingers for for the sustain doesn't linger longer than it need, it need to be it needs to be so uh the whole guitar as i said before the finish is the the first layer that they finish on the collins is a polyurethane to uh, stabilize the thing and to 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 use it as a sort of what I call a filler, you know, and then they layer it up with several layers of uh, nitro because some nitro does string a little bit more. Um, the tolerance of shrinkage or, or expansion is slightly more, and also it's because it's volatile will thin down a little bit. So you have a first layer of uh, to uh, polyurethane to to retain that what I call hardness on the guitar. Okay, the x rays is uh, one inch from the sound hole. And if you look at previous uh, videos on Collins, and you notice that they actually, uh, when they are doing the top, the, the x rays, the bracing is standard on. They don't use any tap tuning on this guitar, but they, 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 they check the stiffness of the top and then they, they tin the top accordingly to the stiffness. That's one. Two is also around the parameters, about one and a half inch. They actually use a what you call a planer to plane down the parameters. So what you have is the, the top acts like a drum. You know the sides are, are stiff but the top acts like a drum. So you get a more responsive top. But when, when they bring the brace, the, the, the X brace and the bracing correctly, you get also a clearer trebles that is found on this guitar, on, 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 on the uh, Collins. And uh, the neck is actually uh, finish with the polyurethane because if you use a nitro finish on the guitar because of sweat and because of humidity the, the, the back of the neck gets a little bit sticky I, I think some of you know what I'm talking about with the Martin, Santa Cruz and, and, and a few other guitars that uh, uses nitro and uh, you have the head plate that is ebony with a special custom inlaid on, on this guitar the uh, Waverly uh, chrome uh, bass bean tuners uh, that's a volute that is on the back the nut and saddle is uh, pure bone, and but I've upgraded the saddle from the bone saddle to a FMI saddle. The reason why is requested because the the bone is good. It's very clear. It's it's sometimes very sterile sounding, and you want something warmer. You want something that's sweet. You want something that will sink down when you sing and or when you play. That is. Uh, you just feel satisfied, and and that's what FMI, the fossilized member of Ivory, does to to the, the 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 whole tonality. It does not change the tone, but it just brings out the beauty of the the potential, of the tone of this guitar. That's the difference. Uh, that's why the Martin uses it on their Golden Era series, on their Marquee series, which actually speaks a lot. And that's why everybody plays a Marquee or a Golden Era series. Uh, 
does uh, what we call complement that the tone is like the it brings them back to the vintage guitars okay and uh, that's I'm not gonna pull any more hairs about about whether this is good or bad you decide if that is for you then you just upgrade it if not then it's okay stick with what you what you have on it um, beautiful guitar and the whole guitar on the neck is not bound so it's ebony not bound but uh, beautiful workmanship the neck is stained to match the backs and the sides okay so let's listen how it sounds <laughs> I feel that this um, this guitar with an, an, an Anthem Aerobex Anthem pickup, uh, which I think is one of the best uh, uh, pickups in the world, because it brings out the true voice of this guitar. So let's uh, let's couple this on the third fret and just listen to how it sounds, and uh, you tell me. I try my best. <laughs>
Beautiful. Let's look at this. Uh, do some finger picking on the on the full guitar. There you have it, the uh, Collins uh, Custom OM2HE with a deep body, deeper body giving you a slightly more bass because of the air cavity that's on in this guitar and an Engelman top, a back and sides Indian rosewood, uh, ivory binding, a bow on neck with a volute and the, the neck is stained to match the, the back and sides. You get the uh, ebony fretboard and ebony bridge with the bone saddle and bone uh, nut but I've upgraded this uh, saddle with an FMI and also a pickup uh, Arabex uh, Anton pickup on this guitar and a special uh, a beautiful uh, inlay that inlay that is inlaid on this head plate with the ebony uh, background uh, head plate on this and uh, the uh, box beam tuners made by Waverly which is really great yeah they are the one of the best when, when it comes to butter bean tuners and if you like this review, what you can do is you can do me a favor by just going down to this comment on this YouTube video and just post something, whatever that's in your heart. Just post something. It just be nice. Be be just a kind and be kind with your comments. And if you want to watch more videos and don't want to miss more upcoming good guitar reviews and coming up, I suggest strongly suggest that you press this button, subscribe here. You know because. You know, this is a great channel. I mean, you know, this is a great channel. And I know the guy that, you know, operates this channel. You know, he's a good friend and it's me. <laughs> so, I'm going to sign up soon. If you're, uh, you're going to say, live with passion, play guitar, allow love, joy, peace, health, wealth, joy, laughter to be multiplied in your life. Be kind. Look at the bright side of things. Always count your blessing, the people that you have, the relationship you have. Uh, when you wake up in the morning, just thank God that you are really breathing and you can see the sunrise and the sunset. Even when you can eat and you can sleep, 
just be thankful that you're breathing. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.